Hi, welcome to the beginner's guide to wiring a star delta circuit. I hope it will provide useful information. First of all, we'll outline the circuit's layout and show you the components of the circuit. Let me come and stand over here first. This is the circuit layout that we drew up earlier by the engineers here at Factomart. Now, let's see the circuit. The supply of the circuit is of course the three-phase supply. The first component we'll need is a protection device, either a molded case circuit breaker, MCCB, or a motor protection circuit breaker, MPCB. Next is the contactor, an overload relay, a motor, and finally, the control circuit. We will next map out the actual equipment to the circuit so that you can see things clearly. This is a motor protection circuit breaker. It is a circuit breaker that's designed especially for the motor starting application. The input power RST symbol feeds into here accordingly. and come out at the bottom here. From here, the cable goes into the contactors. Right here is the start and the stop button. It's similar to a normal circuit breaker, but this one has a special overload features that can also be used to protect the motor from an overcurrent situation. Okay, next, when you have completed the connection of to the MPCB, take a magnetic contactor, this one is from Schneider Electric, and connect them together. It's pretty straightforward, the connection lines up. <clears throat> yeah, the RST phase here, 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 lines up to uh, 1, 2, 3 right here. This is the first contactor. Um, from the diagram, the symbol is the KM. Now we bring out the second contactor. In the diagram is the KD, which is the Delta contactor. Now it's from a different brand since we buy all the equipment ourselves. Now it would be nice to have a sponsor from a manufacturer so that we don't have to buy the equipment and they get their product features in our content. Okay, you wire the connection from the circuit breaker to the second contactor. The Lovato contactor, if you can see it, is written L1, L2 and L3, which matches up to our symbol RST. Here's the auxiliary contact, which we are not using in this case. So we connect these two together from T1 to L1, T2 to L2 and T3 to L3. Here I'll lift the contactor up so you can see it clearer. So you connect it here, here and here. Next contactor is the KS, which is the star contactor. We don't have it here, but you can just wire it and um, there'll be three of them um, to complete the star delta set. When you have connected up three contactors, take the overload relays. Here's one from Schneider Electric and here's one from Lovato Electric. You only need one of them. Attach the overload relay to the contactor like so and screw in the terminal to connect them together. Wire up the relays to the motor matching up the T1, T2 and T3 to UVW here. The star and delta contactors do not need to have an overload relay. You only need one overload relay per set of star delta. Now let's see if you're using for example Lovato contactor as the main contactor. You need to attach the overload relay to the main contactor and um, use the Schneider's contactor um, as the star or delta accordingly and it will not need the overload relays. Now the question is, um, in a real situation, can you use a different brand in the same set of star delta? And the uh, answer is yes, you can. It doesn't really matter at all. You can use different brands in the same set. Although if you're pairing up the contactor to the overload relay, it should be the same brand. This is um, because the manufacturers designed the terminal connection to match up and only to their own product set. If you try to connect the Lovato overload relay to that of Schneider, it doesn't fit. 
This concludes the power side of the circuit. We will talk about the control circuit in the next episode. Part 2 will complete our series, The Beginner's Guide to Wiring a Star Delta Circuit. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Any question, please leave a comment and subscribe to not miss our upcoming videos. Thank you and stay tuned for our part 2.